And we saw the Corky Cassiopeia matchup last time, and it was pretty decent overall, at least during the laning stage. Already some action. Oh, they're going to face check this. Or not face check it, but here we go. The fight beyond is going to get burst down immediately. Janair wants to start this with one, and the heal is going to save Snowflower. Oh. Two kills going over. Amazing play. Maha oh. goes down two. That's three. Can they make it four? It looks like no. Oh my god. Janair Green Wings with an enormous. You can see what's happening in mid. Kuzan is not letting up. He may even go for that. He's going to flash forward, and down goes Ian. A second kill going over to. So even though he flashed in under turret, he was able to cleanse that and get away. Now, here's going right on to Kuzan. But you see now that Jenner is rotating down into this red side jungle of MVP. And they're going to spot him. Beyond, he's got to be so careful. We have Kuzan on the way here, too. Oh, and he actually hits himself back. Bounty will probably go. The ultimate comes out. And that is one dead kitty. Kuzan now coming into the blue yet again. Oh, and it goes over to Umti again. Poor Beyond, he's going to be jumped on. Sorry, Ed, you're not going to be able to help here. He might be able to get that kill. Get a lot of damage down, but often out of it. Well, here we go again. The flash out of Teddy. They want to make this work. Can they get the damage down? It doesn't look like it is. Ian is coming from behind, really trying to punish this one. Down goes Teddy, and Snowflower is going to die too. Double kill going over to Maha. They may not stop there. Fourth hit hits on to Ixu, and everybody is here for MVP. And down he should go. Eventually, the tree will fall. And that's going to be three kills given. Nothing in here. And there is the Cassiopeia ultimate trying to make something work. The flash coming out. And oh man, Ixu gets down here once again before Ed. And Ed kind of charging into the darkness. <laughs> they may be able to turn this though onto Umzi. The box coming down. Ian in the back though is going to be jumped on once again by Ixu. They really need to take him out here. As MVP now trying to fight a 3v4. Everybody just on the run. Ed trying to do his best, somehow still alive, will eventually go down. Ixu now able to get that final kill onto the Thresh. But Maha trying to turn this around. Curtain Call coming down. Snowfire getting very, very low, but he may have gotten himself into a bit of trouble. Maha here. He's trying to use that blasting plant, but here's Umti. One more shot will do it. And down he does go. Ian too low to help out. Umti basically. So. This is just everybody rotating into mid. They want to take out this mid turret. And down come the enchanted crystal arrow. Even at short range, it is going to be enough with all that burst damage. And Ian just not responding in time. No Valkyrie. And it's not able to get away. No flash. He's land that big, big stun. And the hook for the follow up. That should be enough. Oh, the bots flash as well. And interesting that he would try to. The bottom half of the map. Oh, oh. Ian. Yeah, but look at this, he caught him down in bot lane, and here comes the curtain call. Snowfowler in a lot of trouble, he has to dodge it, fourth shot. Oh, a nice block there by Teddy. Down he goes, but here comes Beyond, got a flash on in, and that's going to be a double kill really quickly going over to Beyond. Here comes the rotation, there was that kill in mid that we missed onto Ian that you were talking about. Push this a little bit further, meanwhile in live, they lost their jungler at Probably the worst timing to lose them. Yeah, and they're going to follow up here with the arrow onto Corky. Snowflower very low, but everybody else on MVP on the run. Beyond cannot join this fight. Maha way, way behind. Did just get his curtain call. I'm not sure he wants to go for it. There he is. Oh, and a big knock of four members of Jinn are all going to be knocked up. Here's Rengar turning it around. A triple kill. And now it's totally turned around as Jinnair is just on the run. Another one. There you go. On to Ixu. Going to chop him down to about half health. It is Maokai, so they're not going to fully engage here. As I say that, Ed does charge on in. Ixu, though, going to turn it around. But looks like the majority of Jinnair is on the back foot. But once again, he gets hooked. And now the exhaust on to Umti. There comes the curtain call. Snowflower cannot be blocking this. It looks like Umti is going to take that. But another hook by Max on to Umti. Is he going to go down? He eventually will. And this Thresh is making the godlike plays to bring MVP back in this game. So many insane death sentences coming out from Max and Lantern plays. MVP now setting their focus on the Baron. I'm not sure if Jinair can do anything about this. Doesn't even look like they care to. And MVP are gonna propel themselves almost back into the gold lead. Start this. They have one Mountain Drake. And Ad here is actually going to draw the attention away of Kuzan. That Baron is getting super low, trying to steal it, but no steal. Totally botched, and that's going to go over to Team MVP. And now the re-engage here. Snowflower gets a decent ult, but will go down. Beyond Whoa. jumping into the backline. Look at that damage in the package, too. 
two from Ian, shredding teammate after teammate. And now Kuzan, he does stay alive, but that is huge. Jen Air decides that they would rather take a defensive fight versus Elder Drake and secure the position around their base. On Kusan in the back line, Ian just attempting to get hit after hit. They're even going to tank that here, and finally they get this inhibitor turret. And, oh, they're just going to give up the inhibitor. Jen Air does not want to take the fight just yet. Only 15 seconds left on that Elder Drake. Here's the curtain call, but look at how grouped up everybody on Jenner is. They all want to stay together. There's Beyond coming in the back, but an immediate exhaust, and he's going to jump away. Now they're going to turn on to Ed, and look at all that damage coming out from Teddy and Kuzan in the back. And Ian not really able to do too much damage. Iksu still alive. Ed is going to be jumped on once again. Will he go down? No, it looks like Iksu may. Such a close fight towards the end. Kuzan still alive somehow. It looks like. Maybe they can turn this though. Ed with that passive is going to go down and they finally take out Beyond. But still Ian and Maha are left alive and they do so much damage. Kuzan was solo. He's not going to be able to poke or do anything. We're going to have to see a godlike steal out of Maha if they want to take this one. And it's not going to happen. Baron going over to Jin Air. And just using that small amount of time is huge. But look at this. Teddy is kind of caught out here. They have to fight. There's no way for him to get out. He's forced to flash away. But now Iksu in a bit of trouble. Can he actually get away? No, the death sentence going down, and he has to come in and here engage. They're just going to throw him away. Teleport coming on in from behind, and they're looking for Kuzan. Uh, <laughs> the dance in here, and he's going to go down. And this is a huge mistake. Double kill going over to Jin. And that is going to give the 5-3 to three member advantage now over to MVP. Can they push now against these Baron minions? I think they should be able to, especially with no Cassiopeia. They should be able to indeed, although Umti ults the wave, it's not going to matter. You just look at the ability for Ed to tank turrets. They have the Baron minions available to them. You see Snowflower trying to come in behind and delay those minions. He's doing a decent job, but forced to flash the Scion ultimate. Down he goes, and Umti now not going for the turrets. They're looking for these kills. And they should be able to get it here. MT kind of in the pack. The ultimate coming out of Ash, but down he does go. And that is another member of Jin Air being taken out. Tell you what, Brendan, M. Night Shyamalan's movies don't have anything <laughs> on the past four minutes of this game. What is going on, man? Twist after twist. And I mean, both big damage dealers are now out for Jin Air. Do they have enough oh taking power? And another, another death sentence. And Iksu, I mean, he takes forever to go down, but man, and look at that. Oh, he just disappears. I didn't even see that happen. I was looking at Malachi fighting on the other side, but that should be it. What a game here. Going over to 45 minutes almost, and down it will go the Nexus. MVP ties it up one to one and brings us to game three. I wish I had something positive to say about the last four minutes of that game, but it was 